All right, welcome back to the show on the Ring Central Celebrity Hotline. Joining me as he does every week, and hopefully soon every week with cameras, as we will be going live on YouTube, and, and everybody will be able to tune in and watch us and how good we look and how handsome we are. Uh, Huggy Bear, also live in the man cave. Danger Davis, we're trying to get to send him out for some ice. <laughs> Oh, are they sending Davis? I'm trying to get him to go. Oh. No, Danger Davis, he was late. He should have to go get the ice. Yeah, oh. yeah, exactly. This is why I like Huggy Bear. See, Can you hear? It's your, and it's, and it's, your, it's your ship, so you're the captain. So That's right. You call it. That's you know? right. I'm in the wheelhouse. What the hell, man? You're That's in my wheelhouse. at work all the time. It's not a democracy. <laughs> Oh, let me let me text uh, my hot roommate Danny and see if she'll get one of the troops out there to go get ice. <sighs> so, who do you predict? I mean, what I'm hoping happens. I really don't want the Patriots to win again. So, I'm hoping Seahawks win back to back. I think that'd be cool. I'd be okay with that. I mean, I think it's really a pick em game. It could go either way. What I'd like to see is I would like to see a game that's exciting, that's in doubt throughout the whole game, and at the end it's an exciting finish. I don't want to see a blowout. Like, I mean, by last year, by halftime, I wasn't even watching the game. Yeah, you left. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, by, yeah halftime, you left. And the rest of us were, just, I think, me and Davis and Alex. We were just sitting around. We're like, "All right, anytime Seattle does something good, or anytime Peyton screws up, we're just going to drink." Yeah, well, I was sitting we out back. The, I was yeah. sitting out back. We went yeah, out back. We were, we were all and... pretty much hammered by the start of the third quarter. Yeah, I mean, it was like it was just stupid. I just, just I don't like games like that. Yeah, I, it, we got cheated. I mean, really, until until the Lions get to the Super Bowl, whatever teams get there, the only thing I want is a good game. That's all I want. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it, now when the Lions go, obviously I'm going to be rooting for the Lions. I would like to see Brady get his fourth Super Bowl ring because I think this is probably going to be the last time Brady will take the Patriots to the Super Bowl. And here's why I say that. This is his 14th year, <laughs> and I did not realize that. <laughs> yeah, he's been in it for a long time. I did not realize that the first Super Bowl he won was in 2002, and that was the year of 9-11. That was the year that uh, Warner, Kurt Warner had brought the uh, St. Louis Rams back to the Super Bowl, back-to-back, and they were at the greatest show on turf. They were ripping through everybody throughout the whole year. The Patriots at that time were just at the beginning of their wondrous run, which they're still on. And I'm not a huge Patriots fan, by the way. Uh, but I am a fan of dynasties. I like dynasties. Even if it's the Cowboys. I like, I like a team that's established, that's fun to watch. Because once they get to a point where they're so good that they can be considered a dynasty... That's when you have fun rooting against them. That's when the underdogs. And then you start pulling for the underdogs. And I think what happened here with the Patriots is a reporter from Baltimore had some sour grapes, uh, picked a scab uh, that every single team in the NFL, including the Seahawks, is probably guilty of. And he went crying like a little bitch. <laughs> For no other reason than to make the Patriots look bad. And for that reason, I'm going to be rooting for the Patriots on Man. Sunday. I'll be rooting yeah, for like the Seahawks. I'd like to see a back-to-back -back defense winner. The Chiefs defense is probably going to get broken up soon. They would have whipped Peyton Manning's ass one year and whipped Tom Brady's ass. Still would prove that defense still wins championships no matter how much they make it a quarterback to the league. I like that kind of, that kind of scenario. Well, you know, your offense wins games, defense wins championships. It'd be like it'd be like you know, Seattle winning is like if the Memphis Grizzlies won an NBA championship. Like it's not you know, like it's not going to be the prettiest, but they're going to like hit you and like get in your face and play really good defense. 
Uh, I'd like to see that. I'd like to see. That'd be funny to me if Tom Brady just got dismantled like Peyton Manning did. That'd be kind of, I don't know. They'd feel like then nobody could say anything. Yeah. they just feel like that's it. And then that would put them um, like at a higher level than the Ravens defense we saw recently or the older Ravens defense we saw or any of the Steelers defenses we saw like when they won the first championship with Jer- Jerome Bettis and Heinz Ward. That defense was really, really good. People forget that. Yeah, well, uh, well, all those Pittsburgh Pittsburgh's been known for defense. I mean, even the seventies. I mean, uh, oh, Jack yeah. Lambert, Jack Ham, uh, Mean Joe Green. I mean, that that's just that, that's a defensive legend. And uh, really, the Steel Curtain. Even though some of the the more current defenses, the Bears defenses, uh, the Bears defense eighty four. Uh, of course, the the run that the Ravens had with Ray Lewis and their defense. Everything will always be held up to the steel curtain. Out of that 11-man defensive team, I think six are in the, in the Hall of Fame. Oh, That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. That is crazy. Off the defense. That's not even counting the offensive guys. Lynn Swan, Terry Bradshaw, uh, you know, the, the center, uh, Mark... Uh, uh, Wallace, the center. I mean, those guys are. There's like nine or ten guys on the offense that are in the Hall of Fame. Oh yeah. And Bill, just, like on just this defense, it'd be it'd be cool to see a, a defense prevail and have it not be an offensive game. They, they kind of like defy the they kind of like defy the system. Yeah. You know, and that's like they're like the enigma. They're like they play they play really tough defense. They don't really play a lot of man. They like to play zone. So it's like, you know, kind of like with, with like Tampa, like whatever Tampa, and they have their great defense and they won a Super Bowl. But it'd be, it'd be, it would have been cool if that Tampa team won like two in a row. I don't know. Because I don't really have a dog. Well, it would be fight. good. Would, rather, and if they. I'd rather see Tom Brady lose and be upset and have him and like just not be considered the greatest of all time. Because I don't really like Tom Brady as, as much. Like Tom Brady's good, but I don't want him to win four and be. Well, I like his story. Well, of, you know. Well, he went to seven and won four, and that's more than any other quarterback. I mean, if he went four, four and six, then it's four. He'd be, he'd, be four he'd be four and three. He'd be four and three if he wins. No, no, I think he's I like he's two and, or he's three and two right now, right? Yeah, he's going to his sixth. Oh, he's going. Yeah. So it'd be yeah. four and two. It'd yeah, be four and two. Three and two yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. and that's more than that's more than any single quarterback has ever led a team to a six Super Bowls. Yeah, because before that it was um, I forget his name. I was reading about it earlier. But I'm, so I'm rooting for Russell Wilson. Six, he's the youngest he guy the to go to two Super Bowls. Uh, well, yeah. I, I, either team that wins, I just hope. It's a good game. I'm rooting for the Patriots because I like Tom. I want this will be Tom Brady's last chance. This is it. I mean, Ryan Mallett's standing there behind him. Bill Belichick doesn't give a shit who his quarterback is. He rode that Brady horse as long as he could. Uh, but Brady's old. He's fourteen. Well, Mal- Mallett's on Houston, man. It's Garoppolo. Or, uh, like how they drafted Garoppolo. Or Garoppolo. I mean, whoever's behind him is good. And of course, you know. Uh, Belichick's philosophy isn't re, isn't rebuild; it's reload, and we've seen that time and time again. I mean, the only person on the Patriots right now from their 2002 Super Bowl is Tom Brady. <laughs> no one else on that team was on the team in 2001. <laughs> that is crazy. Well, isn't isn't their kicker? Isn't he? I mean, I know he's not. Oh, vinatieri has been all over the league, man. Yeah, Vinatieri I mean, was still there. playing though. Yeah, right? he's still playing, but yeah, he, he's just not. Yeah, Vinatieri was with him in the in the early 2000s. Vinatieri went all over it, man. Vinatieri went to freaking New York. He went. To, who's he play with now? Somebody look it up. The, Colts. Oh, the, Colts. He the yeah, Colts. Yeah, he's with the yeah. Colts now. Yeah, so. Yeah, he's with the Vinatieri. He's a journeyman, man. Uh, matter of fact, that <laughs> uh, Vinatieri is is one of the only players in the league that's won Super Bowls on, I think, three different teams. Damn. I think he won it yeah. with the Colts. He won it with the Patriots and with the. Uh, he he he's got like five Super Bowl rings. Who else did he play for? Yeah, I'm gonna look it up. Um. I said, look it up. I think he won three with the Pats. Three with the Pats, and then one with the Colts, and one with the uh, 
Broncos. Is it the Broncos? No, not the Broncos. No, shoot. I think you might. I think you might just have four. Well, there was a TV commercial for ESPN when uh, uh, Boomer Esiason and him were at an airport. Of course, Vinatieri's in his Patriots uniform, and he's going through the metal detector, and he goes beep. Oh, sorry, I forgot about this one. He pulls one of his rings off. Beep. Oh, I forgot about this one. He pulls another <laughs> ring, and there's Boomer Esiason behind him shaking his head. But the best commercial this year was the Heisman Trophy winners. I think it was uh, like four running backs in Joe Montana. And I don't think Joe Montana won the Heisman, did he? Mm-hmm. I don't think he did. But anyway, they were in there like... It's four. It's three, four? It's three, yeah, three with the Patriots and one with the, the Colts. The Colts, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Danger Davis on the Google. <laughs> that Wikipedia... <laughs> <laughs> on, on, his, on his magic box of many numbers. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on my iPhone. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, uh, the, the the best commercial this year is he had four Heisman Trophy winners in Joe Montana. I think it's like a direct TV or something. And they're all striking their pose like, yeah, it was a great trophy. And they all struck their pose. And then Joe Montana holds up his five Super Bowl rings. He goes, yeah, those are nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Troy, Troy ended up with a couple. Troy, won, Troy got three. He won three in like yeah. three and how many years? Like eight four. years? Three and four years. They, they were well, the last. Like in his career, if you think about how long, how big the whole total span of well, his career. Uh, his, 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 yeah, yeah well, his, yeah, uh, his career was ten years long, and he he won. He went to three. Ten years. He went to three Super Bowls and won all three. Uh, they won back to back Super Bowls. As the last team yeah. to win back-to-back Super Bowls. They took a year off when Jimmy Johnson left, and then they came back and won their uh, fourth one under Barry Switzer, who basically just showed up. I could have been the coach of the team then. I could have just showed up for that and did nothing because the only thing they changed was the coach. Everybody else stayed. No, John Elway won back-to-back. And John Elway, yeah, but uh, the Cowboys were the last ones to do it. No, no, no. John Elway, uh, whenever they beat the I was I remember they beat Atlanta and won. Oh, and that's they beat, right. That's uh, right. Packers no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're right. You're right. You're right. Back to back. They were the last ones to do it. That was in 98? Yeah, yeah it was 98. And then 98, uh, 2000. And then 2001 was Giants, Ravens, 2002. It was uh, Patriots. Wait, no, no, no. 2001 was the uh, Rams. Titans. Yeah, 2000 to 2001, that's what I could believe it called. Yeah, the and then 2000. So 01 to 02 was. Was yeah, the uh, Rams Patriots and the Patriots one. Yeah. Well, good stuff. Well, I'm excited, man. You better have your ass here. I'll be here. I know you'll be here. Yeah, I'll late. Be here. You'll be late. Can't freaking... I work. I'm on. I mean, late. But I will be here. I'm going to be making ribs. Remember those ribs? Oh. And I've yes. got I've got a rub that I'm going to try, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm putting those ribs on at eleven o'clock in the morning, and I'm not taking them off till two o'clock in the afternoon. My body will be ready. Oak and mesquite. Ooh, sounds so good. Oak and mesquite. Well, I tell you what, stick around, guys. When we come back, thanks for joining us. Huggy Bear, see you Sunday. Yeah, see you soon, man. Be good, you guys. No, not soon. Sunday. Uh, Sunday, <laughs> Sunday, 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 Sunday. <laughs> All right. <laughs> see you Sunday, Sunday brother. Bro. All right, man. That's Huggy Bear and the Ring Essential Celebrity Hotline. Stick around. Mark Summers is going to be joining me from Major League Dating. That's going to be coming at at the top of the hour. So stick around. Lots of good stuff coming. Plus, big announcement in the witching hour. Huge. I mean, we have the coup de gras. And it is exciting. So stick around for Heather Bumpus in the witching hour. I'm Mike Allen. This is the Armed Radio Global Network. And you... You're on the air. Hi, now I know you hear Joe Rocks on their weekly restaurant reviews on Night Talk, 10 p.m. Eastern. And boy, these two like to eat, right, boys? Well, here's something to review right from your house. 
Eat24. That's right, Eat24.com. With over 25,000 restaurants for you to choose from when you're hungry. Many in your area. So review that, boys. Eat24.com. Click, order, and eat.